everyone, this is Bronislava from Handmade Rukodielky and once again we are meeting for another project. Uh, today's project is um, poncho. We will knit two panels and then we will go and connect them together and um, I will also show you uh, I think in another video how to put it all together and uh, how to crochet the edge Around, around the edge and around the neck area as well although you might want to use if you have a good yarn you might want to use uh, tassels instead so this is going to be our project and let's go and do it the stitch that I have used for knitting my poncho is called woven stitch and um, I'm going to show you on uh, only 19 uh, stitches over here okay um, but you can go and uh, make uh, any size of poncho you could also use it for blankets if you want uh, so uh, let me uh, just explain um, to, uh, you know how to do it first of all you need multiple of twos okay and plus three extra stitches one stitch uh, for each uh, end for the edge okay and then <clears throat> excuse me and then you will be really working on uh, on odd number of stitches this stitch repeats um, uh, every two stitches and also every four rows okay so first what you do is knit one and then you need to slip purlwise with yarn in front so you will slip purlwise in with yarn in front and again you knit and you slip purlwise with yarn in front and now the yarn is back you knit and yarn forward and you slip purlwise and again you do a regular knit stitch and you slip purlwise knit and slip purlwise with yarn in front knit slip purlwise with yarn in front and repeat this all the way to the end And knit now you turn this is our second row our second row is just purled but I always need my first stitch okay so you will purl entire row purl every single stitch And my last stitch purling okay now we will turn around my third row I will do the reverse of what I did in a row one so I did knit slip knit slip okay but in the third row I will the the stitches that I was slipping I will knit and the st stitches that I was knitting I will slip so uh, I have to really start this way knit knit slip knit slip knit slip knit slip all the way to end and this one is going to be slip and then I will knit knit so in a third row always 
knit first two stitches and then slip and then knit last two stitches okay I hope that makes sense so as you know in the first row basically I knit I knitted this stitch and I slipped this stitch right so I will uh, I always knit my first stitch and then this one this one was slip but I have to knit it and this one was a uh, uh, knit so I have to slip it so yarn forward and slip purl wise okay purl wise here like I would want to go and purl the uh, stitch and again knit and slip purl wise with yarn in the front knit and slip purl wise knit yarn forward slip purl wise knit and slip with yarn in front knit and slip knit and slip knit and slip and we will knit these last two stitches we don't want to knit and slip okay we will knit and knit okay and now our fourth row and our fourth row is going to be purl so we need to purl entire row so purl and purl and purl purl all stitches Okay, so second and four rows are exactly the same. You just purl second and four rows. So this is my fifth row, but the fifth row, because it's a repetition of these four rows, so my uh, fifth row is going to be like first row, okay? And um, I want to show you how to do it. Uh, English style so first one is knit stitch and as you know all I'm not the best with English style but I'll try so and now is the slip stitch because first row is knit and then slip and slip purl wise right so yarn is forward and I slip purl wise now I have to move the yarn back again so I can knit it I can knit it and now I have to move yarn forward so I can slip it and I move yarn back so I knit the stitch and yarn forward and slip the stitch and yarn back and knit the stitch and forward slip and back and knit it uh, I'm getting pretty good at this English style <laughs> uh, at least at uh, in this video okay and knit and slip and knit and slip and so um, and then we will again just uh, purl next row oh this is fun doing it uh, oops uh, we just need to slip it no 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 purl stitch ah uh -uh, no no and last stitch is knitted okay good you see i almost made a mistake okay look how good it looks although uh my stitches with the english style are a little bit looser they're not as tight sometimes i make it too tight sometimes you know i don't know um 
I still cannot go and uh, do the really good tension with my um, English uh, style. Okay, so now we need to purl all the stitches, okay? So yarn is ha yarn has to be in the front. And we need to purl all the stitches. Okay? Yarn will be in the front and we purl all the stitches. So, you know, we just wrap the yarn around the needle and push it back. Okay, and I will speed up the video so it's not too long because it can be really boring of too many repeated uh, stitches. Okay, and we are ready to do our next row, which since we did this as first row, we need to do this as third row, okay? so. When we were doing third row, we always started with two stitches and end up with knitting two stitches at the end. And in between we did uh, slip, purl, slip, purl. Okay, so we will knit first stitch and knit second stitch. Let me tighten this up a little bit so the end is not too loose. Okay, and now we need to slip. So we did knit knit and then slip and and now we will do um, alternate knit stitch and slip stitch and with yarn in the front right and knit stitch with yarn in the back and yarn forward and slip it and knit it and now we will slip stitch and we will knit stitch with yarn in the back and yarn forward and slip it slip it purl wise and knit it And slip it purl wise. You see, this is purl wise. I did not explain this. This is purl wise. This would be this would be knit wise, okay? And knit stitch. And I got lost in my thought here. And slip it and knit it. And slip it and you see and now last two stitches we will just knit knit and knit and that's all to it so this is the stitch for our poncho uh, let me go and uh, knit a few more rows and then I will uh, show you how it really looks uh, so you have some kind of idea so here is my sample that I have uh, done for you and we started over here, right? And then after I finished knitting these, I decided that I will show you other variations. This variation is where I switch every two rows. So two rows I made with pink, two rows with gray, two rows with pink, two rows with gray and then I went and switched into four row repeat I did four rows with pink four rows with gray and then of course four rows with pink but then I continued going on so I can show you how it really looks uh, on a bigger um, area so these are some options that you have when you're knitting this beautiful stitch and uh, I am really excited about this stitch. It's very easy uh, to do and it has so much texture. So I'll be using it in my future designs as well. Now here I have two pieces that I have already knitted. And this is going to be turned into a poncho. So you can see that they are long already. Okay and um, they are going to be those two rectangles attached to each other 
will do is that I will place uh, one long side uh, next to the short side or vice versa short side next to the long side and I will sew it over here okay and then I will fold this like this and sew to this long side I will um, sew this short side to this side I will sew it in and this will be my uh, opening for the head and this is gonna be my poncho I started this poncho on 41 stitches okay which actually made it uh, to about 10 inches wide and then I knit it I knit it I um, forgot how many um, rows I somewhere around 80 I think but my length entire length is uh, 16 inches this is conclusion of my first video now you can go and watch uh, video part number two where I am putting everything together uh, thank you very much for watching my video share it please and I will see you another time <music>